Despite the numbers being down in the program this year, the Minot Jets are in a position to possibly steal a state title this year. Our Dave Gibson has a story. I'm really excited that we were even able to come back and still have a season. I mean, we don't really know what that looks like as of now, but just super excited to even be back. The Minot Jets have a lot of young swimmers this season, but head coach Emily Jensen believes she has a good core group to help lead them. Well, and I think a lot of the veteran athletes are ready to bring those younger swimmers in and show them what our expectations are as a team. Keeping them focused and diligent and making sure they're helping other teammates that are also struggling. As any older person would, just kind of help guide them throughout the season and help them push themselves to be the best they can. The Majets finished second at state last season, and Jensen says for the team to continue having success, it's going to take a lot of the newer swimmers stepping up along with hard work. As those younger kids grow into those positions, we get stronger through the years. They work really hard. I mean, as I said before, just get a couple new swimmers, new people coming up and, I mean, hopefully fulfilling some of those spots on the state team. We have a lot of younger kids and they're all kind of eager to see what it's like and try something different. And there's a lot of talent in the younger age group actually this year. So I'm looking forward to seeing how they do. My not swimming team is down a couple of athletes this season, but they've had success early on, finishing second at their meets. So we're not taking too terribly a hit, not like some of the other teams that we've heard, so that's exciting for us. Um, but hopefully as the years go, we just continue to grow as a team. Reporting in mind, David Gibson, KX Sports. Right, that's when right now against Bismarck and Legacy.